Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to buy Bitcoin on Crypto.com and send it over to a Ledger wallet. Now this guide is more for beginners, so if you are wondering how Bitcoin works, how you can get your hands on it, and how you can make it secure, then this guide is definitely for you. And if this is your first time buying Bitcoin or buying any cryptocurrency in general, don't worry, it's really, really easy. Overall, it's a two-step process where you exchange your fiat currency for Bitcoin on a centralized exchange, in this case, Crypto.com, and then you simply send it over to another wallet that you have that's backed by a Ledger hardware device. Before buying Bitcoin, there's a few steps that you're going to have to take. First, download the Crypto.com application and then fund your account. You can transfer money directly from your bank account into Crypto.com, and that usually takes about three business days. You can also make a deposit with a credit or debit card, but there is a 3% fee on top of that. So if you do have a few days to spare, you may just want to do a bank transfer. Once that's complete, you should set up two-factor authentication. The best ones that I found are Authy by Twilio and Google Authenticator. Next, you want to buy a Ledger, which is a hardware device. There's a few different options on the market. You can get a Ledger Nano X which at this time is about 150 US dollars. And this is ideal for people who want to invest in a lot of different types of cryptocurrencies. The other option is the Ledger Nano S, which is about 60 US dollars. And that is a great option if you just want to buy a few different cryptocurrencies. Once you buy your Ledger, you just need to set it up. You can download Ledger Live from the ledger.com website plug it into your computer, and then Ledger Live will walk you through all the steps that you need to do to get that set up. Lastly, you want to download the Bitcoin application on Ledger Live, which will in turn put it on your Ledger hardware device. And all of that is very easy. You can do it inside of Ledger Live. With that said, let's buy some Bitcoin. Once you open up the Crypto.com application, you can simply click on Bitcoin, or if for some reason it's not there, you can easily just search for it, type in Bitcoin, and then click on it. Then you can click the blue buy BTC button on the bottom. BTC is just the ticker symbol for Bitcoin. Type in how much Bitcoin you want to buy. For this example, I'll do 0.0012 Bitcoin. Confirm it by typing in your passcode. And that's it. You'll get this green screen that says you purchased your Bitcoin and it will show up in your crypto wallet. You're also going to get an email from crypto.com that goes over the details of your purchase. Now, the second step of this process, and arguably the most important, is sending it over to a Ledger-based wallet. And yes, you can keep your crypto on Crypto.com, but it's generally not a good practice to keep your cryptocurrency on a centralized exchange. And there's a few reasons for that. If the exchange would ever go down for whatever reason, your crypto goes down with it. Secondly, if the exchange does get hacked, your crypto is not protected. Now with these bigger exchanges like Crypto.com, Coinbase, Gemini, FTX, or Binance, you really don't have to worry about that too much. But at the end of the day, I would rather be protected than not. Now what you have to do is link your Bitcoin ledger address to Crypto.com. And to do this, you can simply click on Transfer, Withdraw, Crypto, External Wallet, and then you'll see a blue plus on the top right. You can click that wallet address, then find Bitcoin and tap that on top. Make sure you have BTC selected. Now we have to copy the wallet address from our ledger live over to crypto.com. And to do that, you can click that little QR code button. Then over in Ledger Live, hit Accounts. Make sure your device is connected. And then it's going to generate your wallet address and then you can hit that QR code button. And now all you have to do is scan this barcode on crypto.com. Then you can name your wallet whatever you want. For this purpose, I'm going to name it Bitcoin Ledger. One little caveat to crypto.com is that when you whitelist a new wallet, it takes 24 hours before you can withdraw to it. You'll also get an email from crypto.com saying that this wallet address has been added. Now we're finally ready to transfer the Bitcoin from Crypto.com over to Ledger. In your crypto wallet, simply select your Bitcoin, hit transfer, withdraw, and then the wallet that you just set up is going to show, so you can select that wallet. Select the amount of Bitcoin that you want to withdraw to Ledger. Confirm it, enter your passcode and the two-factor authentication code. And you'll get this green screen that says your BTC withdrawal request has been submitted. At this point, you'll get an email from Crypto.com that says the transaction is pending. And not long after that, you should get one that says it's complete. Once you get that, you can head over to Ledger Live and you'll see that your Bitcoin is in your wallet. 
Now you can send Bitcoin directly from Ledger Live. You do not have to go back to a centralized exchange. And the best part about it is that any outbound transactions, meaning if you're sending Bitcoin out of your Ledger wallet, it will need to be physically verified on the Ledger device. Now, just to sum everything up, I do wanna show you the fees that I paid. And the only fee was when we sent the Bitcoin from crypto.com over to Ledger, and that was 0 0.0006 Bitcoin or about 25 US dollars. Now this is a little bit high, but Bitcoin is not the most efficient or cheapest cryptocurrency out there. So you really shouldn't be too surprised. If you're new in the crypto space, I highly recommend doing a little bit of research about the blockchain technology and check out some of the other awesome cryptocurrencies out there. There's a lot of different cryptos that are faster, more efficient, and cheaper than Bitcoin. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about buying Bitcoin or buying cryptocurrency in general, leave a comment below and I would be more than happy to answer. Thanks for checking out the video. Good luck and stay safe.